has done more than you to support our Olympic athletes. So thank you. Every one of you can say, I am Team GB. Yorkshire's Olympic cycling superstar Ed Clancy has been speaking about winning his third gold medal in Rio. And now he hopes to get two more in Tokyo to equal Sir Bradley Wiggins' total of five. Yeah, I'm over the moon. It's been a difficult time between the London Olympics and you know, getting here in 2016. Uh, not just you know getting here in terms of motivation and that, but it's getting over injuries and uh, and whatnot. And it's that old saying, isn't there? You know, the, the the tougher the fight, the sweeter the victory. And pff, it's so true. You know, I, I've never had to work so hard for this one. Get over that back surgery in December, and then like scrape into the team in the World Championships just to qualify your place. And then, you know, it, it's been a tough one, but you know, crossing that line eight tenths ahead of the Aussies, it's just made it all so worthwhile. I'm 31 now, and I've got three. Uh, I'd, I'm going to do Tokyo. I'm at, at least that's the plan. Uh, so who knows? You know, I might pick up another one, another two if we're really lucky. If we get the Omnium spot as well. But, um, in reality, it's going to be very, very hard to you know, match Sir Brad, but you know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. He's, uh, he's a brilliant guy, and he's been a he's been a real addition to this team, to be honest. And uh, I'm grateful that I mean, obviously Brad's retired now, but I'm grateful I've gone through two Olympics with him. And uh, yeah. how much has the national lottery in UK sport and people buying lottery tickets helped you get your gold medal? Um, I was brought in through the talent team. Pretty exciting, called it back in the day, and it's called Go Ride now. And you know, without that initiative. Now, even all those years ago, it must have been 15 years ago now, they were looking for kids that could eventually sort of develop and ride in 2012. And you know, ever since the the talent team picked me up, I've been supported you know, financially and uh, you know, through the coaching network and British Cycling ever since I was 17, 18 years old now. So, yeah, I mean, we might be here without them, but it's pretty unlikely. Keep buying tickets. It's not just me that's benefited from this. Uh, I don't know why we're doing the medal table right now, but someone told me yesterday we were third in the medal table, and you know that that's not coincidence. You know that's all been uh, a result of money, to be honest. And uh, without the funding and the, the input we've had from the lottery and the government, we wouldn't be here.